today, we're under the uh, Landing and Impact Research Facility here at NASA Langley. So right now we're conducting a series of drop tests on the Mars Sample Return Capsule. Mars Sample Return is a proposed mission to return samples from the surface of Mars to Earth. The vehicle would land in the Utah Test and Training Range without a parachute, hitting the ground at 100 miles per hour. So the purpose of these tests that we're conducting is to understand how much load the Mars samples will see when they impact the ground at that high velocity. So these tests that we're doing today are our, kind of our checkout runs to make sure that everything goes smoothly. It gives us confidence in the data systems, it gives us confidence in our test procedures, and it gives us confidence that we'll be able to get what we want out in Utah. What we're doing today is lifting it up to 150 feet and dropping it in a pure vertical fashion. So there are really two key pieces of information that we get. The first is, the impact load uh, that the capsule sees when it hits the ground. And then we take that data and we use it to validate models of the soil because ultimately we run computational simulations to predict how the capsule will respond when it hits the ground. So we need soil models that are validated against test data. We will ultimately take it out to Utah and do drop tests with it from a helicopter, just like we are with this test article. The Utah Test and Training Range is the proposed landing site for the Mars Sample Return mission. 